All right, welcome back to Vintage Stories. This one is gonna be heartbreaking. Um, yeah, so we saw a lot of resource gathering in the last episode. We saw a lot of progress, um, both on our base and also towards like the Copper Age. And we're doing a little bit of farming today, yes, but we're also we were going to do a little bit of exploration um, because you know now that I have the ability to kind of find out uh, where the the copper is where you know and we can find it in the cliffside of course but like now that i know um copper nuggets on the ground is going to indicate indicate a vein and uh, we're going to use that as best as we can to find as much copper as we can we're going to need as much copper as we can uh get our hands on not just because uh, we need the copper but also because we need eventually bronze and you need the copper to create the blonde the bronze I included this, by the way, this is almost a weird, creepy foreshadowing of things to come. As I'm trying to make knives to, to kind of uh, get, the, get the resources from this rabbit, this goat, bighorn ox, uh, seems to be, like, I don't know, glitching out or having a weird, oh, an ew, it's an ew, having a weird time as it sits down on the knives I'm trying to make. And I decide, I decide that I don't trust it, and I... <laughs> <clears throat> put an end to its life unfortunately um but it it gives us quite a lot of resources as you'll see in a second um just to, like a ridiculous amount of meat and and f I'm, I'm finding that fat is actually like one of the more unspoken treasures you can get from these because it lets you uh, cure leather uh cure hides um so into into pelts uh, so that was, I guess, a nice find. I don't like killing the passive animals, especially the ones near my base, because eventually I do want to do animal husbandry, just not right now. Not, not, I'm not ready yet, but soon. Um, I finally put a, <laughs> came around, a, like, we finally put a marker on my home. It's something I've been neglecting to do for the longest time, but I figured it's, uh, it was time to, to put a marker on it. And uh, here we are. I, I'm pretty sure I already included footage of me breaking exactly these blocks. Um, but here we are replacing them again with stone because I st still haven't yet decided the material kind of theme and palette of, of uh, this home. And yes, I do care to that degree. I, I, I care about aesthetics. Um, maybe a bit too much. It ends up cutting into the function of, uh, of my home. But I like to build with the idea of filling it with function and then uh that tends to to you know hurt things a little bit here and there but anyway uh so here's our, our first time actually doing like literally any farming and watering the plants this is something i'm gonna try and get into a habit of doing um it's something we'll want to do because you know the, the plants will need some more water and we'll have to do that uh, there are methods of uh, irrigating your plants and we will do that but for now we got to do things the old-fashioned way and bring the water to the plants. Um, so now, you know, we're, we're cooking up the, the, the ew. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's tasty. It's nothing to go ew about. Uh, yeah, I know. So um, now, you know, what we're doing is uh, I figure, well, I need to get some more copper. I'll just do some mining, right? This is um, going to lead me to some unfortunate uh, discoveries about how mining in uh, Vintage Story works. It's not nearly as simple as you might think. You know, in Minecraft, you kind of take things for, for granted. You know, you can make a, a pickaxe out of basically nothing and then just go at it. Just kind of start digging away. But um, considering how much time and effort it takes to make a single pickaxe in Vintage Story, that's not really how you want to do things. Um, also, like, I mean, you can just, you know, start digging a mine shaft and go in a direction, but you're going to burn through your axes, and that's not going to be good for business. It's not going to basically net you any copper because you don't know where the copper is, and the copper is kind of few and far between, right? So we'll get into how we do that later, but for now, I, I realize I have to do other things first. So we get our, we finally get our anvil mold. It seems like several episodes that that has been in the works, um, and uh, I'm gonna start filling it. But I come to a really 
uh, crazy and unfortunate um, realization is that 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 co that that mold for the anvil requires 900 units of copper. So um, one copper nugget is five units. So how much is 900? It's it's almost. God, I can't I can't do math. Uh, I don't know 200 nuggets or something like that. Something crazy like that. I don't know. Um, maybe even more. I'm not sure. It, 100, 100 nuggets would be 500 units. So yeah, we need um, basically close to 200 nuggets of copper to make the anvil. So, um, you know, after working on our base a little bit, and I, you, you see I am starting to form a pallet now. Uh, we've got like that, that gray um, cobblestone um, for the foundation, and I'm going to start using clay cobblestone for upper levels. So we finally come back to this location. Like I said, um, this location was going to be reoccurring. I hadn't quite figured out why uh, the the copper wasn't showing up and I looked it up, you know, over the course of mining and, and panning and all that stuff. And it turns out that the copper vein is basically always there. You can actually see here, I have literally given up, but uh, later I will find out that the copper is actually there. It's just three blocks deep. Um, never mind the the sand. The sand doesn't really count. It's the stone three three blocks deep into the stone, and you'll start start fi finding copper right away. So that's good to know. And uh, you know, it, once you, once you know that exploration starts to have a bit more focus, um, you want to find those copper nuggets so you can start digging down and get those copper chunks. But instead of digging down, I uh, decide to do a bit of risky exploration. You can, this is the first time I, like I fall on some gravel and it, it just f like breaks right off the cliff, which I thought was fun. And I've actually, um, this is, this is interesting when going, looking back through this footage, um, I only very barely made note of that stone that was granite. Uh, granite is something we are going to need to make a grinder. Um, and I found this out recently. So ha actually having gone back through the footage um, with, with post editing and stuff, I, I, I marked down the, the coordinates of that location because the granite is gonna become uh, important. It's gonna become necessary. I only do a little bit of splunking. I, like I say, I still am not over like the, the risk of, of doing that. I don't really wanna have to deal with the monsters down here. And also um, dying and losing all of your stuff can become disastrous if you're playing on survival. Hey, foreshadowing. I already foreshadowed that once in the last episode, as well as all the fact that we are carrying both a sword and the remains of a copper pickaxe, as well as, uh, and it, you can't really see it, but in our inventory are 20 copper nuggets. Dying right now would certainly be a disaster, wouldn't it? Especially if we couldn't get our goods back. That would just be completely catastrophic. But, uh, you know, lo and behold, um, as I'm collecting my lead here, something, something it does attack us. We'll see in a second what that is. We're looking over the, the, the Galena. Oh, no, not, not yet. I guess it's uh, as, I'm, as I'm looking through the berry bushes. But yeah, something does attack and kill us here. And I have what turns into one of the most miserable uh, experiences in vintage story basically that you can have um i think it's it's coming up here but uh, not sorry not to get your hopes up i don't get shoved into a hole and and you know surrounded by dwellers that would be a hundred percent miserable um no uh i suppose it comes up later but <laughs> i uh i discover some pretty cool ruins though i like uh, i appreciate the that I kept uh, kept this footage because the ruins are some of my favorite things for discovery and vintage story and of course I mean I'm turning one of the ruins into my home so uh, I do appreciate that that element of discoveries like the the remains of some long uh, forgotten civilization but no I'm doing I mean I'm doing a lot of um, exploration for the in in pursuit of copper but it, you know I'm not really finding it here here it is. I, I will probably never forget this in my career of vintage story, but I find this like really gotta be one of the most pleasant valleys um, that I've ever seen in a game. 
uh, you know, Minecraft or otherwise. And I was, you know, busy doing my thing. And, it, you know, there isn't really anything around that could attack us. There's no wolves. I, uh, I, I, yeah, that, that's why I thought we were going to get attacked earlier is because I was picking up lead and then, um, I start, I don't know what I'm, what I'm doing. I'm still looking for, for copper and looking for more lead and then I get attacked by an ew of all things. This ew is like going savage on us and, and like, I don't know why. I have no idea why. I didn't attack it. I didn't, like, disturb them. I didn't do anything to disturb it. And, I, I mean, I've looked it up later. I've looked up later. What What is the deal? And some animals are just aggressive. They just have this aggressive trait. And you have to, like, there's a whole thing, like, um, when, you're, when you're trying to do animal husbandry and taking care of them is a whole thing. And you're, and, like, future generations will, like, you'll breed that out of them. But yeah, no, we die, and in trying to get back to our, uh, my body and all of my stuff, it goes dark, and I can't find my stuff, and I'm also starving, and it's completely pitch dark, I can't, I can't do anything, so, um, I have to just kind of, like, I just die, and I have to, I, I go back, and I start rooting around, and I can't find it, I can't find my stuff, it's all gone, uh, and I look it up, and in survival mode, um, you're, you know, like if your stuff is on the ground for 10 minutes, it's gone. Classic Minecraft rules. So we're just kind of at square one again. Like I, 20 copper nuggets are gone. My sword is gone. The remains of my pickaxe are gone. Even my baskets are gone. I have to remake the baskets. Um, and I have to start collecting copper by panning again. And... I, I, I have to tell you, this is the closest to, to, like, really hating this game that I ever got. And on top of all that, um, there... A couple of wolves followed me back to base. And I couldn't find them. Like, I didn't see where they were. But I did definitely find them once they started mauling me. So that was fun. And then I just have a couple of wolves outside my base chilling. Uh, and, 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 you know, after they've feasted on my body, they're cool for a bit. And then when they get hungry, they're like, guess I'll go eat that dude in the shack again. He seems, he was pretty tasty the first two times. So that was pretty miserable. So, um, just to spoil it, I mean, I'll talk a bit about it in the next episode, but I have turned, um, punishment for death off. I hope you forgive me for doing that, but... Um, you know, like losing a copper sword, a fresh one in this game, that's a hundred units of copper. That's a blow and that's a lot of time spent. And I don't think that turning that punishment off is really going to hurt the process of this game. The process remains basically the same. Um, it's just, it, it means I don't have to repeat myself several times. Uh, I know that, you know, oh, there's the wolf and there. When they howl, that means they're in hunt mode again which I've now discovered. So he's like actually getting ready to come kill me and I've pulled out my knife and there's the other one also. And uh, you know, he savages me as well. So that's pretty, pretty good. Um, <laughs> I eventually, uh, like I, I've been, I, like I've been panning through dirt and through um, like ancient dirt and stuff like that. And I do actually find some copper spearheads which is really, really nice that you can do that. So I've made like proper weapons um, and I do uh, like ha come back and, and finally kill these guys. Um, but man, this was, this was such a miser miserable experience. Um, and uh, like losing, losing a full copper sword, it's just such a blow. So yeah, I've turned that off. I've also, um, this won't appear in the next episode, but in the one after that it will. Uh, I've installed a couple of mods, nothing game changing, just um, some mods that automatically add markers on the map whenever you find anything of interest. I, I think that that's pretty good. I love this. You can see our, our characters just kind of like their animation is broken. Yeah. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and consider subscribing to the Coffee Patreon or whatever it is, I've decided to call it. Appreciate you, bud. Thanks very much. See you next time.